What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today, we just got it. That's right. The newest MPTV Pro Box. Uh, if you guys have been watching these for a while, I do this every month. This is for the month of April. Let's jump right into the box and let's see what we got. I'm not going to lie. Last month was fire. It was an incredible month. Um, we had a lot of great stuff in it. That uh, Lucky Craft SSR in that uh, Rayburn red color was amazing. Legit fire. Let's get right into the Dibble here. Well, it's no longer the Dibble. The Dibble used to have all of like the list. Now they're two separate things. Whatever. First bait. The Smithwitch Elite 8 Rogue. Right off the bat, guys, I just want to let you know I'm, I'm looking into this box. Inside of the box. Inside of this box, four hard baits. Two, wait, one, two, three. Yeah, four, four hard baits. Another lure plus two soft plastics. Another fire box in general. All right, we have the Smithwitch Elite 8 Rogue. Smithwitch Elite 8. Oh, okay. So it's kind of similar to a jerkbait. Um, it's not a jerkbait, but it's very similar to one. And maybe they call it a jerkbait. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like it's a jerkbait to me. It seems like it's kind of like a uh, like a ripstop kind of. It's got a really. Why did this not open? Is this like make it less difficult to open, people? This is this is. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hook in the hand. 100% hook in the hand for this. Oh my. Okay, China. Calm down. This, you can't even open it. I'm gonna cut myself 100%. All right, that should work. All right, what do we got? Jeez. Yo, real talk, this is nightmare status. I have nightmares of these. All right, what do we got here? This is pretty, that's a huge lip. Look at how big that lip is. All right, so <clears throat> really good color. Uh, this little gold blue transition thing going on. Look at that, that's kind of, that's kind of pretty. But um, the lip has me a little thrown off. That lip is pretty large for a standard jerk bait. So I'm, and it's really a flimsy, Flimsy bill, but uh, so I don't know about the company's quality, but uh, the color is incredible um, and it looks really, really good. So hopefully this this doesn't suck. It's really light though, really light. Uh, next up, man, this thing's a mess. It's just got pieces everywhere. All right, next up is the Carl's Amazing Bait Thwacker. Carl's Amazing Baits Thwacker. Thwacker. All that means is that it's a lipless crankbait, guys. Boom. I actually do like the Carl stuff in general and the, a lot of the things that they get. Really nice stuff. Um, I can't really complain about the quality of the, the things that they're getting, um, especially because they're a Chicago land company. They're here. I dig it. I really do. Um, great color. Beautiful. A little red, yellow. And that's really nice. Really nice. Look at that. Mmm. Um, all in all, that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful little dealie. Um, does it say how heavy it is? I always wish things told you more about them. I always say this, like, hey, have markings on it. Oh, here we go, half ounce. One pack, fire craw, fire craw. It's essentially a lava craw is what it is. It's just, you know, different, but the same. Can you, can you lock in on that, please? There it is. Yeah, lava craw. Dig it, it's good, it's pretty. I think it's beautiful. Nice, nice lure. Tough packaging. At least I could get that out in like a second. You know, the other stuff is just like. Uh, next up, Bandit 200. Bandit. Bandit 200. Oh, I actually have one of these um, in my tool, in my um, my kit. Not my kit. My tackle box. Tackle box. That's the word I'm looking for. Tackle box. So, I'm gonna get another hook in the hand. I hate packaging, it's not easy to open. <clears throat> uh, just a little deep diver. Looks like about a 1.5, somewhere in that ballpark. Really standard shad color, just the black uh, with the whitish silver sides, yellow eyes. Um, looks like it's got the KVD hooks on there or knockoff KVD hooks. So I'm a fan of that. 
Um, definitely not the traditional square build. I have the square build version of this. I don't have, the, this is almost like a, uh, DT6 or something, DT, something like that. Very similar with this bill style. Basic bait, relatively boring in the eyes of all the colors of say something like, you know, either of these, right? But this is, the simplistic value is overlooked too often. So lures to buy it for, to catch fishermen, lures to catch fish. It's just that simple. All right, next up. Lunker Hunt Impact Series Jolt. Say that five times fast, I dare you. Say it, do it, try it, try it. Lunker Hunt Impact Series Jolt, Lunker Hunt Impact Series Jolt, Lunker Hunt Impact Series Jolt, no. <clears throat> let's, just, let's just open it. All right, they're calling this a Jolt 2.5. Doesn't look like a 2.5 size to me. Um, it looks smaller than that. It looks kind of like a two, uh, not a 2.5, but hey, if you want to call it a 2.5, you call it a 2.5. Boom. Basically a sexy shag color. Um, I actually, come on, focus, focus, focus. boy. All right, so it's basically like a sexy shag color, very similar to it, but instead of yellow, it's got that green right here, which I really, really like. I think this is a beautiful color. Uh, a traditional square bill this time of year these flat sides without that big wide part is gonna be awesome So I'm actually really looking forward to throwing this um, I don't know how big it is. They say it's a 2.5. It's in the color sassy. It is floating. It's got a tight wobble uh, Oh, it's because of the depth they call it 2.5 because of the depth it goes 2.5 feet um, It's three it's a third of an ounce one third ounce who does that? I like it though, It's uh, I really think this is a good lure. I'm, I'm excited, tight wobble, clear water. Uh, it doesn't have the this, this shiny factor of like this, of this guy. So less clear water, more clear water, clearer water I should say, anything, got it. All right, moving on before I make myself even look like more of a fool. All right, next up. Oh, we have the Cabin Creek Baits Salty Lizard. Five words to, to name your bait. Five. Okay, I see you, Cabin Creek. Uh, it's basically like a uh, salt, like a pepper uh, colored lizard. Pretty small guy there too, I mean, boom. Look at that little lizard guy. Really cool color. I um, feel like I could break it pretty easy. The, the Plastisol is good quality though. It's, it'll hold up rather well, I feel like. You're gonna need some small hooks for this though. Um, super clear water. I mean, this has gotta be ultra clear water for this bad boy to work. Um, I do like that it's got this little, and I'm not sure which side's up because it doesn't really tell me, but th it's almost got like this little uh, triangular bottom. So I'm betting when it f goes down, it like fluctuates real weird. When is it wiggles? Assuming if you throw it like weightless or something, I bet this is great weightless. Um, and again, a lot of baits. There's a lot in here. I'm looking at six, seven, so there's eight in here. It's an eight pack. That's what I'm talking about, eight packs, right? Not those three, four packs, that's silly. Eight pack, give me what I need to fish. I'm catching fish, I wanna use more of them. It's that simple, yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm getting lost. All right, next up, the Hard Hat Jig Diesel. Hard Hat Jigs Diesel Jig. You don't need to repeat yourself. Diesel Jig. Diesel. Um. Essentially green pumpkin with, with some chartreuse in it. It's a green pumpkin chartreuse, that's what it is. Uh, it's a football head jig. I don't know the size, I didn't read it. Three eighths, three eighths, two odd hook is what I'm guessing. Um, pretty traditional, pretty simple, you know, nothing crazy here. Uh, good paint on, on the jig here, good paint right here. But um, yeah, nothing crazy. But with a trailer on it, 
maybe no nah, I wouldn't use the lizard um, they definitely give you, didn't give you a trailer for this guy on this on this move but good it's good it's good it's good I like jigs who doesn't like jigs it's a football head jig fish football head jig. simple um, all right smart bait disco worm now there's something to be said about this. This is like a trifecta item, and, and I like soft plastics, but with all of the stuff that we've been given, this, unfortunately, might really be the ticket. If you guys have been getting these, now unfortunately they only give you four, but I get why, these things are huge. Boom, big old worm. Now, you go, hey Chase, look at this huge tail that it has. Why does it have this tail? I can tell you why, needless to say. <clears throat> If you've been following the MLF events lately, the swimming worm, which is what this is, like a swim worm, has been fire. This one changes color in water. The cold water makes it one color, dark, or warm water makes it another color, so it adjusts based on the color of the, the water temperature. So you can swim this, and I'm gonna try and heat up this end of it uh, so you can see the difference, but you can swim this like a swim bait, okay? You can fish this so many different ways that it's really quite dangerous. So you can swim it, you can hop it across the bottom, you can, you know, drag it across the bottom. Now look at that yellow, that's cool, right? That was cool to make that color change. So, and we're gonna magically change that orange more yellow too. But, yeah, look at the top now, now the top's all yellow. But this, this is gonna do well. It's got, um, it looks like two different colors in there. It's got like a bigger black flake as well as like a smaller flake in there. I don't know if you can actually, you guys can't see that smaller flake, but there's a smaller flake in there that's also really, really subtle. Um, and it's color changing. Who doesn't like color changing? I'd like it to change with my mood, please. But all in all, this is another great box, guys. I mean, two months back to back. I know I saw somebody in the comments say how they are gonna cancel their subscription because they didn't get a box like mine. Well, guys, you just have to keep getting boxes. You know, you're going to get good boxes, you're going to get bad boxes, based upon what you like to fish. I mean, personally, I have no need to throw this giant jerk bait, okay? Especially in this gold blue color. But will I? Probably. Yeah, I'll probably find a solution for it or a time to throw it. Um, you know, so I wouldn't give up. I wouldn't. I would keep using them. I really like MTB. It's a monthly subscription. It's super fun. They do not, I'm not, can, I'm not with them. I'm not partnered with them. I wish I was. So MTB, if you see this, please hit me up. I, you, you know, just a box here and there would be great, man. Um, but all in all, man, I, I just love fishing. That's why I buy this stuff. I support them. They support people that are awesome at fishing. So I like it. Um, no harm, no foul. You know, I used to do the tallies on this, but that's really pointless anymore just because you know you get a good deal. Uh, it's awesome stuff. I'm gonna probably try an MTB Slam with this here in the near future. Great lures, great stuff. Guys, awesome. Uh, four hard baits, a jig, and two soft plastics. I mean, you can't. <laughs> Guys, enough said. I, I, what else can I tell you? It's an awesome box, awesome. Absolutely fantastic. So here's the deal. If you like this video, please like comment on which lure you like the best or out of your box. Maybe you got a different box. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. What'd you get? Did you think it was a great box? I think April's another great box. Uh, this whole year has been phenomenal. Um, and if you would, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, guys, happy foozin'. This is for the mod. And if you've been watching the different uh, like fishing tournaments, uh, I believe it was very recently uh, the MLF, one of the MLF events. And the man, the myth, the legend. What's his name? Shoot. The man, the myth, the legend. What was his name? That's not good.